I want to talk about hybrid versus heirloom or open pollinated seeds. Because right here I've got a, a perfect example. These are onion seeds or onion seedlings and there seems to be a opinion in certain communities that hybrids are somehow evil um, and that you know there's no place in you know a traditional garden for hybrid seeds and a lot of people have made this mistake that that hybrids are you know akin to genetically modified or or something else but uh, hybrids are, are simply a um, a crossing between you know a natural crossing between two species uh, taking you know selectively taking the best uh, traits of both uh, and producing a hybrid and now it's true that it's it's difficult to save seed from hybrid plants um, and there are some exceptions to that rule where you can't save seed at all but um, for the most part you know, it, yes, it is possible to save seed from hybrid plants. You you would not get uh, child plants that that breed true to the to the form of the original hybrid plant, but that doesn't mean it's impossible. Um, it's an advanced seed saving technique that takes experience, but um, to that point, you know, it, it is possible to to save seed. So that's sort of a myth um, with with hybrid seeds, but. You know there there are places where hybrids really come into their own, um, and there's a reason why you know some some plants are only available as hybrids, and this is a perfect example. These are these are onions, and on the left hand side I have a hybrid Cortland onion, uh, which is a traditional hard storage onion, and on the right hand side I have <clears throat> a Carmen uh, red onion, which is an heirloom onion. Now let's take a closer look at these. <clears throat> and what you're going to see here is that the hybrid onions are very vigorous. And this is something called, yes there is a name for it, hybrid vigor. Um, the, uh, the crossing of the genes in, in the hybrid plant uh, causes some species to be more vigorous. And they pop up and they are, they are very hardy. Now if we come over to the Carmens, we're going to notice that they're not quite as vigorous. They're a little unhappy. Um, and you know, this is the nature of an heirloom. There's nothing wrong with these seedlings. They're going to, you know, most likely most of them will be successful. Um, but you could tell that there's a major difference. There's a major difference between the hybrid and the heirloom. So we have to keep in mind as we're as we're selecting our seeds and 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 choosing them for our gardens that you know in some cases hybrids are okay. It's okay to have hybrids. We can get over that fear um, of having hybrid seeds in our garden because there are a lot of places where you know the varieties are better and they just make sense. Uh, heirlooms can be a challenge to grow. Heirloom onions are a challenge to grow. Um, so don't be afraid of heirlooms, uh, or don't be afraid of hybrids. Um, you know, choose the right varieties, uh, know what you're growing, know that they are hybrids, they're not dangerous, um, and just get used to that fact. So, uh, great example, side by side, uh, of the differences between uh, a hybrid onion seed and an heirloom onion seed uh, planted at the same time in the same medium with the same watering with the same amount of light uh, etc and yeah that does say 49 degrees back there uh, we're in my basement grow area onion seeds are very cold tolerant uh, they're started very early they're started in February and uh, they don't go below freezing down here but uh, it can get a little nippy so uh, at night, onions like to, you know, don't, uh, don't like to be above 50, and during the day they don't like to be above 70 uh, for them to, uh, to grow the best. So, and the light is very high right now, uh, just so I can get a good video, but after the video I will drop it right down on, on top of them again. But, uh, yeah, don't be afraid of the hybrid. Don't fear the hybrid.
uh, know its place, know how to use it, and uh, know uh, just go into it with a with an open mind and and know what you're buying, and you'll most likely uh, have some some good success with with hybrid seeds.